Hey guys, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a find and replace in Vim. Let's take a look. So, right here, I have a text file called test.txt. We'll open that up with Vim. And the first thing I want to do is just to simply show you how to do a find in Vim. So, you can do that with the forward slash on your keyboard. You'll see that pop up down here in the bottom left hand corner. And let's find all instances of Tony in this file. So hit the keyword that you want to find and hit enter. And you'll see that we have three occurrences of Tony here, here, and here. If you want to go to the next instance, you see that my cursor is right here. If you want to go to the next instance of Tony, you can hit N on your keyboard. You can hit N again to go to the next instance and that'll wrap around so you can keep going to each instance. And if you want to go backwards, you can hit Shift N to go backwards. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's do a global find and replace on a different word. Let's replace every instance of is with isn't. Okay, so we can do that by going into command line mode, which is shift colon. You'll see the colon go up here in the, or go down here in the bottom left-hand corner. So shift colon and then percent S for search on every single line, slash is the word that you wanna find, slash isn't the word you wanna replace, slash g for global hit enter and you'll see that every instance of is was replaced with isn't so it says here isn't a text file that isn't cool my name isn't tony let's undo those changes with you simply type you on the keyboard and you'll go back to the original state of the file now what if we wanted to just replace all instances of is on this line right here and not this is down here so we first want to move our cursor to this line and go back into command line mode. And instead of typing percent %s like we did before, just type s, okay? Slash is the word we want to find, isn't the word we want to place with, and g for global. Hit enter. You'll see that this instance and this instance was changed to isn't, but not this instance. Undo those changes with u. Go back to the original state of the file. and Let's say for whatever reason, we want to replace only the first instance of is on every line with isn't. So in this case, we would replace this one and this one, but not this one. Well, we can do that by entering command line mode again, shift colon, and typing percent %s for search slash is, word we wanna find, isn't the word we wanna replace with. And normally we would do slash g for global, but we only want to this to apply to the first instance on every line, so we're not gonna type slash g. Hit enter and you'll see that the first instance of is on every line was replaced with isn't, not this one over here. Okay, let's undo those changes and here's kind of a bonus. Um, what if you wanted to replace these two slashes down here in this URL with plus signs? I don't think that's practical, but let's just say you wanted to do that. So your cursor can be anywhere for this. Go into command line mode, percent %s, and typically like you would think it would be slash, 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 plus, slash g, but that's not gonna work. The delimiter that we're using right now is the slash, and by delimiter I mean what we're separating the word that we wanna find with and the word that we wanna replace it with and the g at the end we can actually use a different delimiter. So instead of slashes, let's use the, the common one people use is the, the hashtag, the pound sign, this one right here. And so that's gonna be our first delimiter. We want to find any slashes and we want to replace them with plus signs. And we wanna do that everywhere on every line in this file. So that kind of looks funky, but we should see these two slashes replace with plus signs, hit enter, and that's exactly what happens. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like this, definitely consider subscribing to my channel, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.